Hey guys, it's Mitty, and welcome back to another episode of Sweet Dreams. I have not played Sweet Dreams in quite a while, and I actually haven't made videos in quite a while, just because I've been really sick. So, if you guys didn't know, I put out a video. I was sick for almost two weeks. Two weeks, and it's the longest I've ever been sick. And uh, I'm so happy I'm not anymore. Uh, so after I was sick, we had some family things planned and then Thanksgiving came around. So I was just busy and I didn't have the time to sit down and make some videos. So I really tried though. I really tried making some videos when I was sick and I had a sore throat and I was just coughing. I just, I couldn't make any videos and I had a horrible fever. Um, and at one point I thought I was getting an ear infection. It was... It was not a fun time. So, uh, in our previous episode, we actually caught a little Moa. Well, we didn't really catch him. We hatched him from our incubator and our little Moa dropped an egg. Where did the egg go? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's put that away. I might actually uh, incubate another Moa today. But you guys, I asked you guys to leave me some names for our, our little Moa. And you guys left me some super cute names. And I have a ha I've had a hard time trying to decide what name I want for the little Moa. But I think I think I kind of narrowed it down to two. So hopefully, I, I, I don't know. We'll see once I decide on the name. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna decide right at this very last minute because it's between where are my little things? It's between uh, Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is by Lenny Toaster. I will leave the comment up on the screen so you guys can see. And I am going to name my little Moa Peep. <laughs> so Peep like the marshmallow candy. Uh, I love peeps, uh, even though I haven't eaten them in years, but they're really cute and he does kind of remind me of the little marshmallow peeps that they make. They kind of look like little chickies or little birds or something. So we are going to name this little Moa peep and you know what? I have decided. I've decided we're going to incubate another Moa. We're going to have two because I really like the other name of the other Moa that was suggested. So we're going to do this. Should I do... You know what? I'm going to do a white one. Another white one. So they could be twins. <gasps> we'll have twin Moas. Yes, we'll do that. So let's put the little egg in there. And then let's go ahead and name you. Officially name our little Moa. You are now... <laughs> I shall call you Peep and you shall be mine. Or is that how it goes? No, it's squishy. How does it go from Finding Nemo? Okay, that doesn't matter. But <laughs> we have a little uh, Peep now. And oh, I just, I can't get off a of Peep. I always have a hard time getting off of Peep. Okay, I think it's like shift. Oh, there we go. I did it. I did it. I always, I always get stuck. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, it's almost there. It's almost going to hatch. Okay, so while we are waiting, I'm going to go ahead and name the other name tag for the MOA. So, I will post the comment that I chose on the screen, and I went ahead and chose Petal. Uh, so, I think that's going to be a really cute name for another MOA. And, and here she comes. Here she is. She's here. Yay! <laughs> so, we have a little, another little MOA that is twin sisters with Peep. So, we'll have twins. Twin, um, twin MOAs. Peep and Petal. I seem to like a lot of P names. Uh, so we have Peep, Petal, and Pillow, right? I named our pi Pillow, pi too many P's. And we are going to go ahead and do another name tag. So someone else left a comment in the comment section that I should actually name the cow that is with Pillow in the, in the carousel stable. So I will leave the comment on the screen now so you guys can see what I chose. And I decided to go with blanket so we have pillow and blanket and I thought that was such a cute cute idea so let's go ahead and name um, our little cow that thinks he's a Pegasus uh, we actually kind of came up with a little story I think I mentioned that uh, the cow which is now blanket loves oh I got really weird leg uh, loves uh, our little Pegasus pillow loves him so much that he thinks he's a Pegasus and uh, he doesn't really get along with his other little cow friends with wings um, and so we're gonna leave 
our little our little cow in here with him. So you are now blanket. So we have blanket and pillow, and they are best friends. Uh, and pillow doesn't have the heart to tell little little blanket that he's not a Pegasus. So, but it doesn't matter to him because he loves him no matter what. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, I kind of came up with that story right now. Uh, if you guys want to add to the little story, leave uh, your little side to the story in the comment section below. Maybe we could come up with a really cute uh, storyline for them. And uh, so, all right. So in our previous episode, I mentioned that I was going to start decorating this little back area and this is going to be the enchanted garden i went ahead and chose a comment last episode uh, i will probably leave it on the screen again so you guys can see who left it uh but uh, a viewer said that i should turn this into an enchanted garden and i think that's what i'm going to do i want to do some giant flowers i want to do giant mushrooms and then i want to fill it up with some bunnies we're going to do that today and i haven't been able to do it because i was really really sick i have so i'm just going to do it on camera today Day. So I thought today was the perfect day to do that just because I do I'm, I'm doing face cam and I want to do something that's a little unedited. So Yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect. Hmm. I need a whole bunch of stuff I don't know how I'm going to do the mushrooms. I kind of want to do them a little different. So Huh, and I'm gonna need a lot of oh, she's hungry again. All right. We fit. Oh, she runs so cute Uh, so uh, I think I'm going, I don't think I have a lot of wool. I'm going to need a lot of wool for probably the mushrooms and I want to make some giant flowers. Probably don't have enough. I'm going to have to get some. And I don't even know if I have enough like dye. Oh, we'll get some of those. And hmm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to collect all the materials I am going to need to make stuff in the enchanted garden. And once I am done collecting everything, I'll be back. Alrighty, I think I have all the materials we're gonna need to make all the cute little things in our enchanted garden. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some giant mushrooms, some giant flowers. I'm also gonna plant some tree saplings around. There's some trees in the aether that drop little particles that I think would look really cute in the enchanted garden. Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make some giant flow um, flowers, uh, mushrooms, because I don't have enough wool to make some giant flowers. So for now, we're gonna make some giant mushrooms. So the purple will be for the stem, the white will be for the little dots, and I do have a lot of stained glass, so we're gonna use that for the little colored mushroom part. And I didn't have enough wool, but I thought the stained glass would look really cute because uh, it's kind of see-through. So it might add to the whole enchanted uh, theme that we're going for. So let's try it and see how it looks. Um, okay, so we're going to put the wool right there so that maybe uh, when we're done making the mushroom on top, we could break it and it'll look like a little floating mushroom. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it will look, but we'll, we'll see. Let's test it out. Uh, okay, I don't know how I feel about this mushroom. This is looking kind of weird. <laughs> Let's make it a little longer. Let's expand it out a little bit. And I will fix the other sides. I just, I'm just i just kind of testing it and seeing how it looks. Uh, I Let's see. Let's put it here and there. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, maybe we should break the middle of this... Yeah, we're gonna take that one off for sure. So let's break the middle of this. And let's replace it with some white wool. And see how that looks. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's the top. The little white thing on the top. Uh, let's take this off and see how it looks um, floating. Okay, that does not look good. <laughs> Alright, I'm just trying to figure out a new... A uh, way to make mushrooms something a little different just because we're in like a little enchanted garden. So let's see uh, I don't okay. Yeah, no that stem it the stem wasn't a good idea I love when I break these blocks because <laughs> there's little kawaii faces on them. It looks so cute All right. Well, we're having some trouble some difficulties with the mushrooms um, I think I'm just gonna make them regular and make some small, make some big. Uh, I probably won't get too fancy with it. Yeah, that doesn't, that looks weird. Uh, let's take these off too. 
All right. All right, so, well, okay. Well, there's that mushroom. Let's see, let's build one more mushroom. Let's test a different type of uh, shape and color for another mushroom. Uh, I'll probably make blue ones, yellow ones, maybe pink ones. I think that'll look really cute in here. Mm, all right, yeah. Not liking that mushroom too much, but it's okay. We'll see. Let's see. Let's go come over here, and then we're going to make another mushroom. We'll use... What color for this one? Should we use pink or... Ooh, we'll use yellow for this for this mushroom. So let's get some yellow stained glass. I think it'll look so pretty with the purple stem and then the yellow. It'll really like stand out and look pretty. Uh, and what else? What else? Uh, I guess we'll just keep using the white wool for the spots i was gonna try and maybe change up the color but we'll just use it for now and see how how this looks okay i'm gonna make it a little bit taller probably let's make should i make it uh yeah we'll make it we'll start we're st we'll start it um coming around the stem and Let's see how this will look. Hopefully this one will look a little better. Uh, let's place the block there. And let's let's take these little corner blocks out because I think that would look a lot better. And let's take this block out. And we'll build on top. Mm, I don't know. You know what I think I'm going to do? Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and build the mushrooms uh, and see how it looks because I don't want to take too long building on camera because that's not always fun to watch so I'll be back once I get the whole enchanted garden situated hmm yeah that looks weird well this is what I have for the enchanted garden and what is going on with my minecraft it looks super glitchy I think it's when I hold my fairy lights that looks really weird. I don't... Why is it doing that? Do you guys see that? It's so weird. I think it's, I think it's the fairy lights that are causing, yeah, my world to kind of glitch. I don't know why that's happening. But anyways, <laughs> I made some fairy lights for the Enchanted Garden. So let's try and hang these up. But I can't really tell if they're going up. Okay. There we go. Um, okay, this is going to be kind of hard to work with. Uh, so I kind of finished my enchanted garden. I added some mushrooms, some of the flower, I mean not the flowers, the trees have grown. I didn't add the flowers yet. I need to, but I didn't have enough dye to make some colored wool, so I might do that next episode. Uh, but for now, this is what I have, and I'm just hanging up some fairy lights just to give it some more, encha uh, more enchanted feeling. Uh, let's see, let's hang these right over here, but I did take a little longer than expected when I was building and um, I was thinking uh, So I was thinking that maybe I don't know how you, what you guys would think about it But I have been kind of thinking about live streaming lately and I was thinking about maybe live streaming some of my Minecraft my Minecraft ep episodes when I build. Uh, the thing is, when I build, I don't like putting the building process into my videos because it's just it's not fun to watch. It's kind of it's kind of boring at times, and it's they're just too long. You know, gathering all the materials and building, and uh, it's just too long sometimes to kind of put in your videos. Uh, but it is a lot of. Um, content that I am not putting out that I'm just kind of getting rid of so I was thinking of maybe live streaming when I build things in my Minecraft world so that way you guys could be more involved and you guys could help me make decisions on what to build and how to build it and just things like that and maybe we could have like Q&A's and just talk and uh just it would just kind of be kind of be like a relaxing stream nothing too fancy uh, but me and my boyfriend have been actually testing out my live streaming setup at night. We've been putting it on private uh, and we've been coming across some complications, but uh, it's almost, he almost has it. We, we kind of have it figured out. So uh, I might start live streaming soon, but I'm just a little nervous to start live streaming because um, I've never live streamed before and I have no idea uh, how I would do or... <laughs> like how to do it I don't know it's kind of nervous uh, trying something new 
Um, but let me know what you guys think about me live streaming some builds when I do um, when I build in my Minecraft worlds. I think that'd be really fun. Uh, but yeah, so this is what I have so far for the Enchanted Garden, and I think it looks so cute. I think this is it for the little enchanted garden for now. I'm going to add a few more things, like I said, in our next episode. But for now, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching today. Sorry it's kind of short. Most of it was me building that I cut out because it's just kind of boring to watch. Uh, but uh, let me know if you guys want me to add anything to the, to the enchanted garden. Uh, I don't know if I should put the bunnies and the moas inside or if I should make a separate garden for the bunnies and the moas. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Also, I will see you in my next video. And thank you all for watching. Bye!